Sumail Nagasar on top, mid one on the Lashrak, of course, heading into mid. With Iceberg, Queen of Pain, and General Clockwork, they're all sitting mid, watching mid one as he dances around the Disco Pony. Oh, Fisher and Arrow doesn't connect. They do get the Fisher down and a Thunderstrike to follow. Always want to fly. Trying to cut through the trees. Actually, uh, a little misclick there, it feels like, and First Blood spilled. He got caught up in the tree line, couldn't cut through straight away. This game, yeah. he's okay, he's gonna buy one Nolly. Oh, no. Dead like that, that Void Spirit game he had. Oh, Seb, facing off against Iceberg, and the Sonic Wave takes down the Marana. Iceberg just pops that illusion room to get out of the Thunderstrike, but in comes mid one. Lift up, Aloha Dance, by the space for Iceberg, who's glimpsed back into the Fissure. Great play with a split Earth. Oh, gee. That's the setup we've been looking for. And they've left him alone top. There's no one here to react if Fitune does get jumped on. They're smoked up. Fisher Static Storm, so he can't rage. They try and chase him down as they snipe his courier. Also, he does get the infest off into a range creep. Vtune getting caught by mid one, though. Lots of magic damage spilling back into the lifestealer. And there it is. Radiance delay. Even though Arrow missed, they still managed to grab a kill. Like, lifestealer is very hard to actually grab a kill on, but no tail with the. Uh... Once again, a very nice static storm. PM though, finding mid one here potentially with a supernova damage over time from the Shadow Strike, and they also hook shot the Earth Shaker. So supernova lands. They protect the egg and a double kill for Iceberg. They, I'm not gonna say wasted. They used everything to get a kill on Life Stealer, which was a correct play. Iceberg, Iceberg. with your cane rune, like he that does. should be a kill. He's trying here, Sonic Wave, but a Yule's up Dyer's from himself. Matt Fisher into Enchant, Saxa, oh, he doesn't have Echo Slam, he's going to try and give chase here, but doesn't get that Aftershock stun, and Iceberg, this Arcane Rune is causing so many issues for him. Salve up again, Queen of Pain, back to pretty much full HP, jumping aggressively onto mid one, dive from Always Wanna Fly, and General hook shot in 5 seconds. TP from Seb, Marana coming into play, Saxa the with another Scepter great Fisher here, mid one trying to get the split up, Yule's up, he's baited it, now they catch the Queen of Pain, but she's still gonna be able to take out mid one with help of Always Wanna Fly, my god, mid one's still alive! Fade Bolt does clear him up, Seb gets arrowed by the Rubik, in comes No Tail, and it is a massive brawl in this bottom lane, somehow around a tier one with no creep wave, everyone diving in, looking for additional kills, and Clockwork, Drag back into the static storm. A stun from the arrow comes through at the last second to cancel that TP, in which it was, you know, quite even. OG slightly favored and immediately smoking up with that lifestealer radiance. Send some illusions top and blink in. Iceberg jumping mid one. They get a good fissure and kinetic field, but Vtune focusing Saxa rips the Earthshaker limb from limb as the Leshrac, deep in between five Radiant heroes, also slain. When you get the Manta style, it means, okay, we just wanna, you know, hit some extra creeps until I get the next item, but Lifestealer is ready right here, right now. And they've caught Sumail. Arrow not gonna connect with the hero, and Sumail just going to Song and TP as Seb has found a pickoff in the back lines. Taking down Always Wanna Fly. Now Telekinesis up into the Queen of Pain's damage. General looking for the hookshot. Lining it up. Who's he gonna go for? No tail. Seb, do you need to hookshot Seb here? He's waiting for the leap so he can maybe jump with the oh, arrow. Nice perfect. arrow. Iceberg now able to jump in, blink aggressively, but no tail's ready with the static storm and Sumail with mid one. The damage spilling out. Queen of Pain self fuels with a wand and a blink gets out of danger. Turns with a sonic wave. Mid one being cleared up. Has to self fuels, but he's only got 84 HP. One hit but from a low hand. Hookshot connect to Sumail. Off, and General catches Sumail takes down the Naga Siren and OG bleeding out the aggression from FGM coming into play so swiftly. There really is no way to stand and fight as No Tail walks up high ground. V Tune says, Thank you very much. I'll take this one. General actually sniped it with a rocket flare there, but they've also got the ensnare and the hook shot onto three with a supernova in the cogs. They go. Three man cogs. OG trapped inside with a team fight combo for FTM. Beautifully executed. Seb does manage to leap out of danger, but my goodness. OG losing hero after hero. OG, 8k down. 9 kill deficit as well. Naga Siren getting spotted out. And a hookshot from General. Catching Sumail very quickly dispatching with the Naga Siren. This could be an opening for Roshan. They're going to Telekinesis up the Mirana middle. Still has a couple of leaps here. And you'll scepter up and another arrow. There we go. Chain stunned into oblivion and a double kill for Iceberg. Iceberg. Very interesting uh, talent choice. Level 20, not going for AoE Shadow Strike. Instead goes for Spell Lifesteal. Once again, he's on top of Samael. 
And that arrow connecting with the BKB of Queen of Pain, Iceberg just blinks aggressively forward. So Mail dropping. And they're trying to chase down Seb. The Earthshaker cancels his TP. So Sanks are not getting involved. One leap, 15 one charges, attempt the TP, but the Earthshaker set to cancel it out. And Iceberg's ready here with Aloha Dance to chain stun down the Marana. And another great successful chaining of kills as FTM find them every pick off they need. As FTM grab up the outpost. And even more neutral items popping up as OG smoke in towards top lane. Iceberg is alone here. Goes back for the neutral item and that could be a problem. Their kinetic field fissure don't land. The blink away from the Queen of Pain. Perfect. As TP from General coming to the outpost, he completes it. He wants to stick around and fight here because he's got V-Tune arriving. Hookshot connecting with mid one, trapped now inside the cogs. Limps back from no tail with the self fuels. Flash rack tries to get out of the cogs. Queen of Pain can still give chase though. Aggressive blink yet again with a shadow strike as V-Tune has shredded No Tail, who tried to give his life to save mid one, but it looks like he's going to die regardless. The gun like Queen of Pain easily takes him down. And v -tune's gonna die fountain. v, v, v -tune's back behind tier three. Control tier your four. players, Iceberg. Another sonic wave will be ready in uh, 15 seconds. And they've used up Saxon. No blink echo slam for you. Rage through the fissure and the arrow. Does connect onto Iceberg. But OG with three heroes down, Naga Siren still pushing bottom lane. They don't have an answer to this FTM push. It's not gonna do that much. Dyer's structures are fortified. Um, Clockwork is still holding onto the clumsy net, opting to not take up, you know, the Van Brace, for example. So it seems like he wants that additional bit of lockdown. So try and catch them out. It's the Moonlight Shadow, but the jump in immediately from FTM, finding the Naga Siren, and Sumail has been obliterated. And five heroes from FTM up onto this tier three. Very swiftly. Destroying the structures of OG. Static Storm does catch out the lifestealer, but he bashes mid one and Lashrax dead for a minute. The arrow's there. The Echo Slam does the very back. v -tune just stands his ground and battles through everything OG has. Down goes No Tail to Ice Post Queen of Bane. One more scream will do the trick. And General, he's got the lifestealer invested inside of him. Arrow there for the blade nail to try and turn back some of this damage. What's the lifestealer like? Yeah, full HP. He's gonna pop out. Arrow. Ooh, sidestep. Oh, got no! Marana. Catches Seb. Sumail opens up his teammate to get being taken down as V2 enrages and GG's called the first loss here for OG in the group stage up against FTM. Surprise! Go for aggressor try lane against the Undying. Same board once again on the bottom lane coming out from Saxa. Looking for that Fisher lineup on Always Wanna Fly. Nice placement. Blocks him off from the staircase and OG. Here's the four heroes that came down to the bottom bounty runes. He gets a two-man decay, always want to fly, still going to fall as the clicks from OG. Too powerful to handle, but General with a battery assault. Now, FTM bring numbers. All the Venom from v -tune slowing down some mail. They also focus down Seb with that Shadow Strike, doing good damage. v going to die. fires up and he's going to survive. v -tune's about to fall and some mail. He is still alive. Turning now onto Iceberg, who doesn't have Blink. He's got Shadow Strike and OG just punching down FTM one by one. They are having a few struggles as Seb loses his courier, body blocked by Always Wanna Fly, and that Orb of Venom from V-Tune slowing him down enough for a kill. A double lightning zap, killing out that mid-wave. No-Tail rotating in to do some more good damage onto the tier 1 with Sumail joining in. They bring the Centaur with that Helm of the Dominator, but okay, I missed that. Top lane Seb dies once more. Yeah, OG is very good at pushing the towers, but here comes Tombstone. It's only level 1, might be enough. To buy some time. Always fight do defend. and Aloha Dance out of mana. No one has mana on their team. Except General who hook shots onto two heroes. Samael now trapped in the cogs. He's got nine one charges, but the Sonic Wave demolishes him as FTM. Five heroes strong in that mid lane. Defend that tower, get two big kills. Even without mana on half their heroes, they get the jump. What's Iceberg doing? He's got TP in two seconds, Blink in two seconds. Does get clipped by the EMP, Blink TP down to the low ground, but the Fisher from Saxa is gonna find him thanks to No Tail scouting down into that He low blocked ground. himself, or pa Saxa blo blocked him. Gege, Blink. I mean, Second, nope. Cannot get away. Iceberg way too deep, but Seb up top lane, found by the Slark and the Clockwork again. And Hookshot is ready once more, so General can, you know, move into another lane and look for even more pickoffs. As mid-tier one, always want to fly, trying to defend and deny. 
has been Stop denied. Samel from taking down that objective. As General, he's looking for the line onto the Luna, but they've got the Tornado EMP. Undying is going to fall for sure here with that urn charge. Given back over to mid one. Slot is up at the top. Five. Catching the Rubik mid. Level 5 Aloha Dance Rubik. Not really having a game so far. You can't just pick off a target. Usually you're very good at that. You have the Fusal Blade. Okay, mid lane, Aloha Dance just got level 6. Stole an EMP. It does burn a lot of mid one's mana. Oh, and that's hook shot a under nice hook with shot. A Sonic wave as well. They pop the eclipse and turn to fight general. The clockwork will fall as No Tail is the trade back. Oh, Saxa was looking to walk in there with the Echo Slam, but he's going to try and block off the Slark with the Fisher. OG regroup after losing their Chan. It was a great Here's initiation Fisher, Fisher. from FTM. <laughs> Here, little Fisher. That looked perfect from FTM, and the Echo Slam with a Cold Snap, holding Queen of Pain in place, Iceberg again just out of the open, buys back now, he wants to continue this fight, they know that OG are out of mana, they jump in for the Queen of Pain, but still no kills to claim, the Luna falls snapped away, but doesn't get to the high ground, now taken down as the Enchant Tota from Saxa, they need to delays. get more out of this. The advance of FTM, they get the TP out with the rest of OG, but I think Sax is dead here, mid one, uh, mid, 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 mid one, Goes There's to walk the dust. into dust. He's very speedy. 360. V2 Three now to jump in shot. few seconds. Yeah, they've got a jump from Iceberg. They've got a hook shot here if they need it. Looks like the Pounce Leash will take down mid one. We'll see how it pans out. As bottom lane, Saxa getting chased. And Sonic Wave. Iceberg does get the grab as General picked off by Sumail in the top lane. I knew that. Top rune spot at the very least as Aloha Dance. EMP on top of his head. Mid one getting another urn charge up. FTM just don't seem able to, to group up in this game. It's OG always with the numbers advantage. Especially when Chen has mech and hand of God, but no mana to use them right now. As always want to fly, cold snapped. Being found by mid one. Does get a hook shot at General committing onto the Invoker, but the backup of Saxa, Seb, and the rest of OG arriving on the scene now as General. They do lift up mid one, but a full snap away. The heal comes out from Chen, the Deafening Blast back, and the Undying about to fall. Loosen Beam will finish him off. Stolen Fisher making a nice little V shape there up on the high ground, but Queen of Pain has blinked in aggressively again, and Cold Snap into Raw means she will not be walking out that one. Have an open space to play. You don't fight here. Your tier 3 tower is gone against Luna. You don't take a fight. Radiant Way too many bounces. Tombstone. Zombies are chasing. Clockwork from the right hand side looking for that hookshot initiation. Queen of Pain also looking for this lineup of the Sonic he Waves. Blade Melt. BKB. They jump in onto Seb. There's the Eclipse though. Always on a fly drop all. As Sumel with a double kill. Now Slark focusing onto the Beastmaster, but he can't get a single bloody kill. Chen blocks the pounce so Seb can escape. And now OG, they can turn and face up against FTM with the buybacks flowing through. The Radiant trying to extend this fight, but Saxon with a great Fisher catching up the Slark. And GG is called. OG want that undefeated series run and they're one game away from it. Again, disruption. It looks yep. like, yeah. Disruption into blood right. They've got the breathe fire. Dual breath. Not breathe fire. Mid one's just gonna walk this one down and get the first blood. Yeah, maybe looking for that courier snipe, but it's being guarded and held behind the tier one. Aloha Dance Rubik coming into mid lane, the blink in from Iceberg, lift him up. Sonic Wave's ready for Iceberg as they drop the Tombstone down and clear up mid one. Sumail though, arriving with a time lapse, looking for the bash, it's gonna come, of course it will. Sumail with that rotation, finding the trade back, and Queen of Pain feels like a much more high priority target than the DK, with the Chrono on the Undying. They want the bonus kill, always want to fly with the Decay and the Stick, is not gonna finish. Uh, not gonna allow him to survive. Shakiro as a hero who has two zoning tools, Ice Bat and Macro Pyre. Oh, disruption. Green Chrono. Blood right, they've got the silence on Iceberg, the damage not quite enough unless they get a bash here, but Sumail doesn't catch it. Saxa will fall thanks to that stolen Chrono from the Rubik earlier on in the fight, but General has fallen to mid one. And in comes Sam with another Blood right. Nice Ice Path again, setting up beautifully for a kill on Rubik. And they've got this Blink Dragon Tail mid one DK now. 
Iceberg straight in on top of No Tail. Turn with the Ice Path, catching the Queen of Pain. Macropire there, the Dragon Tail a little slow as mid one, I think he had it on cooldown, but Sumail, Bash straight off the bat onto Iceberg. He's gonna need to time walk out of here though, it feels like. As always when a fly, he turns the fight. General, ruptured up. Blood right down from Seb and the Bloodseeker, he's running rampant now. Very speedy little Bloodseeker boy. Telekinesis from Aloha Dance, it does stop them for a second. But General is still stuck here. He's Shikuchi back, time lapses into the disruption from Saxa. And what have they got? Mid one Dragon Tail not gonna come. They don't have reveals, so the Shikuchi from Weaver. Another Dragon Tail. And Aloha Dance. Finally finds out what it's like. Whew. He's definitely not the target blood, to right? rupture. Dragonite is just gonna stand his ground. General has been doing a great job splitting the attention of OG. So MLTP's top of the defend tower, and this might be a chance for FTM to come out of their shell a little bit. Undying, getting destroyed though. OG find the first strike. Iceberg and Vtune, they were just behind the Undying, looking for a proper fight to kick off. But OG, look look at how tight OG are. They have four heroes, literally just like the human centipede, walking up to the high ground, banish into soul. Yeah, they've got it. Blood right there for the silence. Nice little catch on Weaver, but the Sonic Wave is better from Iceberg. Ice Path comes out from the Rubik as it's stolen and killing off Seb and Saxa. Drag up the DK, but what's the stun remaining now? It's a Dragon Tail from DK onto DK. As Morphling waveforms forward, and that's going to be the end of mid one. You are relying on Kronos here to take a fight and then go for objectives. And they find Rubik behind the tier two. FTM dropped the tombstone and a time walk out saves the Rubik. They kill Samael straight off the bat with that E Blade. Focusing tombstone, mid one's here trapped in the middle of three, and FTM with a double kill on V Tune, they are finding their stride. Four in a row, chasing that one to the final hero. They want the team wipe, but I don't think they're gonna get it. Seb is incredibly speedy. OG sticking around mid, but the Dire Scan does catch a glimpse of them. They've jumped onto the Queen of Pain with a Chain Stuns from Dragon Tail Ice Path. A bit of heal there and a BKB. Iceberg gets himself out, but a two-man chrono. Sumail, it's been stolen by Aloha Dance, who pops it down on the two of OG, the DK BKB, and Seb stuck inside. As Sumail TPing out, they finish off mid one with a Sonic Wave, and Seb, they're chasing forward. Bloodseeker TP, cancelled by B-Tune. Stun him up with the Adaptive Strike and finish him with that E-Blade. Execution's been pretty damn good. As Roshan is a fast spawn, he is up. OG, smoke themselves, as they know FTM are lurking around in the area somewhere. Smoke popped from the tree line. They jump the morph, but he's got his strength morph off. As the blood right ice path do land on V-Tune, he's been time that's back to about half HP. Now the turn with a tombstone and a good sonic wave. They kill off the Radiant Courier as mid one's BKB, trying to defeat the tombstone, but the lift onto Sumail is getting blown up before he gets his BKB off. Finally, Satanic healing through it all as they take down Iceberg's Queen of Pain. So close to killing off that faceless boy, but always want to fly. will be the second one to die here as FTM losing out in that team fight. Seems like they still want to take this fight. Queen of Pain has buyback. Who's controlling the outpost? It's Radiant. Oh, they've got the stun though. Talent back. V-Tune kept alive by General. They jump in and kill off Seb, but the Chrono down and Morphling, the Soul Catcher, annihilating hey, HP Chrono. He might have to buy back now. The Queen of Pain did come back into the fight. She has Sonic Wave ready, but she couldn't TP to Outpost. You were absolutely right. There's nothing here for Iceberg to move towards. And they've lost three heroes in a row, buying back on all of them as General slain with no buyback on him. He OG. gold for buyback. With a massive team fight victory, Vtune sprinting forward with a time dilation, not just about catching on to mid one. Disruption. Blood right, or Dragon Tail back. not coming, V-Tune BKB is chasing mid one with the bashes now, always want to fly, he's in the midst of it all, Aloha Dance does time lapse back. Uh, Sumail focuses down the Undying who buys back himself, it's but back. it's the Morphling with the Ice Path macro player. OG, they catch them both with no tell Chikiro. Sumail, he needs to get on a target, he's being dropped low with a Sonic Wave for like the fourth time this fight, Iceberg, the Aghanim Scepter, paying off dividends, and V-Tune with a double kill, FTM somehow. Drag the fight out long enough. They have the gem on top of that bait. Dragon Tail onto Rubik. Nice time lapse back. Time dilation. Does catch out Sumail with a stun there. He's being disabled pretty consistently, but he's going to time walk over to the right hand side. Weaver and Rubik caught in the chrono as Vtune focuses down the tomb, uh, the mid one DK, who was focusing down the tombstone, but the disruption saves mid one. Sumail and Sep still looking for targets to jump on. Two supports down on FTM as the DK buys back, and the Queen of Pain has to blink away 
Vtune does still they have the Aegis, her. but now he's been isolated. The Morphling in Faceless Void mode is trapped all alone, tries to go for the Waveform TP. They've killed off Iceberg now as the Morphling escapes. General Weaver retreating also. Stun that Illusion. Get him real good. Illusion escape from Vtune there. Baiting a few spells. OG, jump again, Morphling, caught up and obliterated. No, General's there with the time lapse, finally. Getting that Morphling out of sure death. 60 Five seconds cooldown. without Queen of Pain. Are they going, going for tier 4s? Yeah, Blood Rage, it's just huge amount of damage. Dragon Form's ready for mid one, they jump some mail. Time walk away, that E-Blade damage and a time lapse back. The Aegis is gone in a second. Alive. They do lose the Aegis in a second and Tombstone focused down by Sumail. Jumping General now with the time dilation and the Blood Right. Not quite connecting with it, but they've got the Rupture on him and General down for 100. V-Tune, he's got so much on his plate now trying to deal with mid one. The Dapper Strike and the Fade Ball, no buyback on DK. So they do get him for two minutes now, but always want to fly. Focused by Seb. Sumail still whacking away at the Morph with the Bash is coming through. He E-Blades himself. Trapped inside the Blood Right, but he waveforms back into the Fountain now and it looks like the tier fours and the throne still alive. Somehow the two raided supports get out of- They for lost vision. For sure, for sure dying. And in the meanwhile, always want to fly is found by the dragon tail of mid one, TPing to outpost, but he's kind of isolated here. Oh, V-Tune doesn't get the kill on no tail. Jakiro blinks away yet again. They stun up always on a fly, focusing the undying as the void. In on with a chrono, the two cores, they caught out the stolen chrono for the time lapse. What can you do with it? Absolutely it nothing. Where's the Weaver? No time lapse. They have to buy back on the Morphling. Queen of Pain's also fallen. Magic wand into your backpack. The big it man, half time. HP. Sumail and Seb in the pit. Vtune comes in with a stun onto the Morphling. Dragon Knight stops him in his tracks until the time lapse back gets Vtune out of danger. The tombstone drops on high ground as they try and blow up Sumail with the Sonic Wave. Back Not track. enough damage. He's satanic up. He's healing back up and focusing always on a fly with another high lapse. They send the undying back to safety, but the two cores have fucked him down until the fear. The fear from the Queen of Pain. It's stopping OG from focusing the undying. Another time lapse. It keeps always on a fly alive a second longer, but FTM have got the big target until the disruption. Saxa saves Sumail. Time walk back up the north. Iceberg with another fear. Screen, but gonna keep keeps him in for his turn with the bash. The Yule Scepter up on the quap. Mid one comes in with a dragon tail, but doesn't land it. Iceberg, TP, blink away. Always focused down and bashed into the ground. OG, kill the Queen of Pain and General will follow her into the grave. Or just go for tier four towers. 50 seconds, Queen of Pain and dying. Whew, just disappears. And those time lapses around dying are really not that good. You know, he's the low HP for a very long time. Tries to get the two man chrono. V Tune will get back to Fountain, but OG so strong right now. Macropire there, no tail, zoning them all out. General time lapses himself, but still falls. No buyback on him, and Sumel with that time walk bash clears up the Rubik. Into the Fountain they go. They are diving, Lacoste, with Aegis and Satanic. It. it is good game, well played.